Hey Bex, first order of business. I am aware today is Talk Like a Pirate Day. I also don't really care, sorry. Second, I have goggles. Um, mainly wearing them so you can see how they look and so I can maybe see if I pull them off. I'm not sure. Whenever I talk about whether or not I pull these off, I think of Ted Mosby and him insisting that he pulls off the red cowboy boots. And speaking of Ted Mosby, tonight is the How I Met Your Mother season premiere. I'm very excited. So because of that, today will be just me talking about a couple reasons why I love How I Met Your Mother. So first, I guess, would be the acting. And as you know, I started watching the show because of Neil Patrick Harris which I'm gonna blame you for because you're the one who made me watch Dr. Horrible but let's not get into that right now are you even in shot Dr. Horrible? I can't tell the acting from everyone in this show is incredible um, unfortunately I can't think of specific instances for like most of the cast but the one that's really sticking in my mind now since I just watched it is at the end of the episode Bad News where Marshall finds out that his dad has died that like wasn't scripted Marshall's actor did not know what Lily was getting out of the cab to say and that was done in one take and I mean it's an incredible scene it and so yeah it yeah good acting in the show. Another thing I like in the show is the little continuity nods. For instance, as mentioned before, the red cowboy boots that pop up now and then. Um, we also have things like, I guess, like they showed like a newspaper at one point and one of the little side articles was something about the cockamouse or something like that. In the episode where Lily and Marshall are trying to decide on a name for their child, they end up referencing something that we saw back in the very first episode of the series. So there's all sorts of little continuity things like that and you know it's nothing that like a new viewer is going to feel lost about but the people who have been watching for a while are like oh it's that awesome. So there's that. Probably one of my favorite things is like the little details they have in this show in the episode Oh Honey which is where Marshall is in Minnesota and finding out about everything through the telephone conversations in the end he ends up setting like the clue game cards up for the different characters in the show so like I think it's like Ted is represented with the Professor Plum card and he wears purple through the episode Honey is Miss Scarlet she wears red and it's like that for like all the characters who have a card for them and it's just really neat probably the biggest instance I can think of is the countdown through the episode bad news you think watching an episode like that you know what's coming it's not gonna make you cry anymore it still makes me cry I watched it today because it was on TV it was at least the third time I have watched it I still teared up and I think that's largely because of the countdown through the episode, which I didn't even notice the first time. I, like, read about it after. But now each time there's that, like, suspense building up. I know what's coming, but it's still, that countdown is still building suspense. So it gets to, like, ten and nine, and I'm like, no! It goes through, and the last number is one, which is the number on the taxi that Lily gets out of to talk to Marshall. And I'm just wanting to yell at the screen, don't get out of the taxi, it's going to be bad, and I'm going to cry, and I'm almost crying again. So, really, it's all the little things that make this show incredible. And I'm really looking forward to what they're going to do next season. I want to find out who Barney is marrying. It better be Robin or I'm going to be mad. So that's really all I can think of to say. And I'm probably close to my time limit. So I'm going to leave it at that. And Bex, I will see you on Wednesday.